right, native fortress. This one, you can't get a gem with this front either. Yeah, it's a reoccurring theme. You just can't do it, you know? But whatever. Whatever. It don't matter. Because that's not going to break our spirits. And that's definitely not going to stop us from enjoying this level. Because, come on, let's be honest. Who doesn't love spinning monkeys, actually? Don't I feel bad for them. Piranha Plants? Mmm, is that a little reminiscent of another game that we all know and love? No, no, I think that's a reference. It's pretty long. Okay, jump, spin, go down, go back up by jumping. Oh, it almost uh, stopped working. Okay, so use these to get up. Whatever. Don't get. Don't touch the flame. Do not touch. Do not touch it. Oh, the the green slopes are slippery. So here we go. I'm gonna get to the top. I'm not if I'm not holding it, it automatically slides down. Run away from the monkey. Um, keep going. We could stop on her indefinitely, but I don't want to break her back anymore. I'm just gonna destroy her life, uh, which is kind of sad. I love how the, the pattern for the black spike thing is very easy to recognize and avoid getting hit by. So most of the game is difficult it comes from backtracking. And in order, you, you're kind of grinding but in a cool way. If you don't, if you jump too early or whatever, you can die. Alright, there's a get there. Alright, spin. Bonus round! Yay! Oh, I missed something. Whatever. It's fine. It's not. They, they don't really. These things really don't matter that much. Anyway, so let's see. This is a big, big, big thing. All right, let's keep going with Native Fortress. I also love that the music kind of fits the theme. Native Americans, or at least it kind of sounds like it, because one of the things that they say sounds like a chant, like a Native American chant. It sounds like it. I don't know how accurate it is. I'm not a Native American, so don't go criticizing and stuff. Saying you don't know you Native American stuff. I'm just, I'm just saying it seems like it. I'm not saying it is one. Guys. There's a difference between it is what seems like and all that stuff. All that good, yeah, so. We don't want we don't want trolls picking on any you know, any other people in my chat. And it's just as I say that people are gonna be sarcastic with me about it, but whatever. Oh, it's like the What's your guys is uh, interpretation of my words, all this stuff, it's still your decision to believe someone else. I didn't go force you to do it. And please don't argue with me on this one. Oh, I'm not Bullying's bad no matter what. Alright, alright. Avoid the fire. Avoid these two things. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, since I can't get the jump the first time around, I'm just continuing from the last checkpoint, which is not a problem. I don't remember dying on stage. But wow, I'm doing really bad. Okay, I'm definitely going after bed. I'm going to bed after this for sure. I I can't handle this. Uh, I can't handle the awesomeness that is Crash Bandicoot. Fires sound spot on. All right, I need to stop. Uh, okay, I'm concentrating. Color scheme is good too. Just gotta stop. Put that in. Jeez. Wait for the fire to go. Always be patient. Meaning, wait, wait until you know for sure you can. Not, damn it. 
I did so well in the other stages. Sleep deprivation is getting up to me. Okay, kids. Neuroscience lesson. Kind of. Pretty brief. Uh, well, not neuroscience, just psychology. Um, you need sleep. Different people. Wow, would that counted? Alright, different people need different amounts of sleep in order to feel really good and awake and alert in the morning. Some people feel most awake when they sleep. Let's say six hours, not eight. Like, they can't sleep eight hours, it's fine. Wow, I didn't make it. Um, so, basically, and you run at your peak when you uh, have slept adequate hours, and you're up late at night or something, you know what I mean? Unless you work during the night, whatever. But what I'm saying is, you guys should really uh, keep track of, you know, all the hours you guys sleep. Uh, you should also take into account how you perform in cognitive abilities. Like, how well do you game when you're really sleepy and sleep deprived? Or you're just been sleep deprived, you don't feel sleepy, but you know you're doing a lot worse than you know. That's another thing about sleeping is that um, it helps with it helps with uh, building memory. Building memory is important for a multitude of reasons. We can avoid things that we don't want to feel again. Um, why am I going so off topic? Anyways, why am I talking about the brain? Oh yeah, sleep. Very important, kitties. Get your sleep. We can live without water, we can live without food, but without sleep? Mm, not more than 11 days, shoot. Alright, wait for this one to come down. Let's get that one up. See, red gems. You need red gems. You can't get it, so... No, you could've gotten it. Not at this point. Nice part. Let's move some secret of the level to do better. Or you could just be risky and take the risk. Anyways, so just spin these, jump, keep going. Sometimes, like, you'll not get the hang of it and you'll be like, oh, I feel dumb. But don't, but don't, guys, don't feel dumb if you don't know something. It just means that now you know and you can improve. Alright, let's see if I can get up there. Alright, feel you can already hit it all. Jeez, I'm gonna have to go from the bottom. Whatever. I got this patience. I get to the top with half opened eyes and stuff. Okay, there we go. That's the next one. I am. Alright. Right. Bam! We bit, we beat. What did we beat? Oh, I don't even know what we beat. We beat. We beat Native Fortress. So, anyways, that was the first island of Crash Bandicoot. I hope you enjoyed. No, come, I'll keep bringing the content.